What's going on YouTube? Jojo back with another video. And as you can tell by the past few videos, the videos that we're coming out with this month isn't necessarily for MLB The Show 21. This is more so to get better for MLB The Show 22, which drops in just a few weeks. Excited for that, man. I hope you're excited for that. But if you're excited for this content, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below. What's been your favorite card to drop this year? What was your favorite card? Whether it was Mike Trout 99 or maybe it was 91. Kenny Loft. Put that down below and hit that sub button, man. We're going to be pushing out content like crazy when 22 drops and we're trying to gain that rhythm right now. And more than anything, we just want to help you out. That's what the basis of this channel is, is to help you out in every way possible with market tips, how to gain stubs and how to get better at the game, man, as we have. So today's video, you see it in the title, you see it in the thumbnail. What's the best PCI to use? Now, we put out a hitting tips video, and in that video, I've touched on a little bit of things. If you wanna watch the whole hitting tips video, I'll be sure to link it up below, but I didn't want to too much touch on PCI tips because I wanted to make a whole video on it because I have this theory on PCI. I have a theory on what the PCI should be and whatnot. There's two PCIs, in my opinion, that you should be using that I believe are the best. The first one we're going to go over is Starfighter Cyan 40% only inner, I, no center, no outer. And I'm going to show you why. All right, well, we'll put this on All Star since 90% of people play on All Star. Or, a matter of fact, we'll go Hall of Fame since it's the midpoint. We'll go Hall of Fame. I've been kind of toying around with Strike Zone 2. If you would like a video, or we'll probably just come out with one on the best hitting cameras and why and what's the pros and cons of each hitting camera, put that down below and put down what uh, what camera you're using. So Starfighter, Cyan, 40%. I am a huge believer, I'm gonna say this, I've said this in another video, I've said it in previous videos, that the PCI is straight placebo. You should not be looking at the PCI, so you should keep it to a minimum. I see so many people doing this, and I understand it. Some of your favorite content creators doing this, and you're like, hey, I'm gonna do it too. And so it looks like this. And, and this is cool. I, I like this, right? The problem is that PCI right there to me is too distracting. You should not be looking at the PCI. The PCI is the main reason why most people are late on this game, because what you're doing is you're doing this. You're staring at your PCI and then you're trying to track the ball. Now, listen, I know we hit a home run there. It's on Hall of Fame. We're facing against straight. We didn't end a home run, but it's too distracting. This to me right here, I'm staring at the PCI and then I'm trying to find the ball afterwards. And so you're swinging at bad pitches. You're late on them most of the time. And this, in my opinion, isn't what you should do. You want to minimize the PCI as much as possible because it should be secondhand nature. So what I like to do personally, like I said, was to go with Starfighter because I like the way it looks. I like Cyan because it isn't too bright. I don't want bright colors. And I turn my transparency down. I flip between 20, 30, 40. Half the time when people come to my streams or anything, they're like, yo, you're not using a PCI or your own directional. And I'm like, no, I'm not. So right here, we're able to kind of just more so focus on the pitcher and the release point. I'm not at any point staring at my PCI. And so it's easier for me to then find the ball and move my PCI to there. The PCI to me is the least important feature. It's there just to look at. It's cool to figure out where you're starting at. Honestly, I might go no PCI when it comes to 22 because I can anchor. What the reason why I even use a PCI is because I like to move my PCI around like right there. I like to start inside and when I can't see it, I don't exactly know if I'm starting where I want to start. And so if I was starting middle, I would just go no PCI. When I go when I go middle, I go no PCI. I love it. It's so easy to track the ball. So today actually we may just go over three. There's three PCIs that I really think you should be using. If you're starting from middle, I would go no PCI. The PCI placement, as you can see, is amazing. We're good because we're not we're not looking at it. We're not looking at the PCI. We're looking at the picture. So let's try this one right here. Let's just see. As simple as that, man. I know I was a pitch right down the middle, but at the same time, that's the best pitch in the game, if we're being honest, because half the time you slam your PCI. I'm telling y'all, man, I love this PCI. That's my go to when I'm struggling. Now, the second PCI, in my opinion, is diamonds, just straight diamonds. Why? Even more than that other PCI, I can't see it. It's so tiny. 
this is I love this PCI. When I'm on, this is the PCI I go to. Like when I'm feeling good, you know, you you're getting you're hitting a rhythm, you're hitting very well. This is the PCI that I plan on. Like this is what I go with nine times out of ten. I can still see where I'm starting it at. I can still see all that. But it allows me to still focus on the pitcher. And as you can see, with both PCIs that I'm using so far, I keep it to a minimum. I don't want to look at it. And at this point, you would almost say, well, you might as well just turn the PCI off. But like I said, I want to see my starting point. I want to make sure I'm starting in the right spot. And and I can't really do that with it off. So I, that's why I turn the transparency down. Like if I want to start, like say somebody's spamming a pitch right here and I want to make sure I'm starting there. I want to make sure that I, I'm in that spot. I don't suggest starting your PCI that far over because you're just going to do like I just did there and you're going to slam it. But I personally like to start it low like that. That's actually a perfect, perfect, but it was decent. But I like to start it just below the zone. And I like to see that because I don't want to make sure I don't want to be down here. What the PCI should allow you to do is just to focus more on the picture. That's literally all it is. You should be focusing heavy on the pitcher. You should be finding that release point. You should be finding the ball. Timing is everything on this game, man. You, we've all played those games where you're giving up all PCI home runs. So here, what we're going to do here is we're going to do, if you're going to go no PCI, I suggest turning the where it cuts off. So you figure out where you're starting it at, but now you can't see it no more. I like to go no PCI when I'm really, really struggling, because honestly, if you're doing this and you're struggling, you're just not focusing. You're not focusing on the pitcher. Nine times out of 10, hitting is all mental on here, and it, it just comes from doing something so, so small. It comes from doing something tiny that you could fix like not staring at your PCI. I promise you, I, I went from being a 270 lifetime hitter. I went from being a 270 lifetime hitter to a 330 lifetime hitter, seven time flawless World Series every year, hitting 400 with most of the people that I hit with. And I, I promise you, I used to struggle. I used to straight struggle on this game and I was swinging at everything. I still do, but I, I'm not claiming to be perfect. But I'm telling you, man, the no PCI, it may be the wave. I, I love no PCI because it's just the least distracting, man. I really, really think that these three PCIs, and as you see, I keep everything. I, you're going to hear me say that so often. I keep everything to a minimum. That's what you, you got to simplify things when it comes to the plate. How many of you played, and that that's, that's a stupid swing, but I also wasn't looking. How many of you played baseball, uh, IRL, and... And you kind of had that coach that would just tell you, hey, you're overthinking things. Hey, simplify it a little bit. And that's kind of how I've started to, to approach the MLB The Show. Now, you can't do everything for real here. Like, typically on an inside pitch, you would want to be early. You want to get the barrel around on the bat. And on this game, it'll be foul. You know, and on outer pitches, you want to be late side of good to push it the other way. But nine times out of ten, the exit velo just isn't 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 high enough. Trying to do too realistic on this game can can be can be kind of a you know you can't really do that. But there are some things that you can take from real life baseball that will help you on this game, and simplifying things is one of them. So I I, I believe truly you don't need the PCI. I really don't think you do. But if you're going to use the PCI, I would use one of the three that I've suggested here today. Use diamonds if you're not really worried about having the PCI, but you want it kind of smaller. Use Starfighter if you're kind of struggling, but you want to keep the PCI on and you want to kind of find the pitch. You can start it here, look at the pitcher, and then drop it. And then just make sure your eyes are still on the pitcher. And that's kind of what I use Starfighter for. When I'm struggling a little bit, I like it to be open so that I can stare directly at the pitcher, find that release point, and then just kind of go from there. We jammed our PCI there, but hey, that's going to happen, man. I'm not claiming to be perfect, I promise. But this this just kind of allows you to, to, to figure out where the ball is going, man. You'll start taking more pitches. You'll start being more on the ball. You'll start being more on time. And that's really all that matters. I mean, as you can see, that's a pitch right there that typically I would be very late on or, or you know, jam my PCI up, and we were all on that. So 
and then go no PCI if you're feeling really bold and you know you you kind of just don't want to stare at it. You want to make sure you're focusing in on the picture and you're going to get your timing right. And like I said from the beginning, one of the biggest things I want y'all to understand is PCI placement does not matter on this game. It is all about timing. Timing is everything. You want to be early, early side of good, or perfect. Anything beyond that, you're screwing yourself. You're not getting the exit villas you deserve. You're not putting the ball where you want to. For whatever reason, early, early side of good, perfect is everything. And so you want to make sure you're doing that by not worried about the PCI. So keep it minimal. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I didn't rant on too long. If I babbled a little bit, I apologize. Uh, like I said, we're just getting back into the flow of things. If you want to see an overview of the whole hitting tips that we put out, be sure to check that video out. Like I said, I'll link that up above. Uh, like the video, comment down below. What PCI do you typically like and why? And hit that sub button, man. Let's go crazy all 22. I love y'all. Thank you for the continuous support. Peace, love, till next time.